Jim Northrup writes in the preface of his book that during that time, the 11 year span from 1989 to 2001, on the Fond du Lac Reservation, he knew there were tremendous changes happening, um, as listed with the treaty rights and, and the gaming issue and, and all the different things that were impacting, kind of zeroing in on, on, on the reservation at that time. So he knew something was impo something important was happening for him and for his people. And so he wrote, chronicled um, what life was like during that time on the reservation. One of the things that he does over the course of the book is he calls out oftentimes silly questions. And here he writes about why he selected these questions and, and sort of his philosophical approach to it. I'm going to read it. It's in the preface. It says, I've heard many questions over the years as I've traveled. People start by noticing I am not a white American. And they ask me what I am. Once we establish that I am an Indian an Anishinaabe man, they feel they have a license to ask anything about me and mine. Their questions are sometimes silly, sometimes dumb, sometimes cruel. I respond in kind. I will answer well-meaning questions to the best of my ability. Absurd questions deserve absurd answers. There are no rules about how often questions can be asked. My hope is that Anishinaabe Syndicated will lead you to questions of your own.